All right, I am super excited right now. Um, I'm on my way to SSR to pick up my car. My Uber is almost here in like three minutes. Um, I bought charge pipes for the Supra. Um, basically, it's it's a little bit of performance mods. It's nothing serious. It's basically, to uh, what was it? If your car starts to make too much pressure, it doesn't uh, destroy or hurt the stock charge pipe. So I got. Sorry, I'm like choking over here. I got a greater version, so that way when I make more power in the future, it handles. I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna do some things real quick, and then I'll pick up the vlog when I'm over there. All right, as I was saying, it's a little bit windy out here, but I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, the charge pipes are like, if your car's making too much boost, on a stock charge pipe, it'll break. On an upgraded one, it'll handle. Um, I got one that handle up to 500, 600 horsepower, so that's the p power I'm trying to make. Right now I'm going for looks because of the whole coronavirus. You really can't tune your car or get modifications unless you're running the tune so it's really hard right now so once this is all over i'm gonna be ordering e85 injectors a full meth kit or whatever it might be the same ship i don't know but uh my goal is to be at 600 wheel horsepower on that supra and then call it a day and then eventually concentrate on wide body if i end up keeping the car in the late future within two years um i'm trying to see what the c8 z06 is gonna look like if i could even afford it within two years from now but we'll see you should be here by now so Pick up the vlog in a bit, guys. Man, I honestly can't get over how low this car's sitting. Once that wing from TJ Hunt and uh, Street Hunters comes in, this car's gonna look so good. Just gotta get spacious on the back and a little bit in the front. It'll be sitting good. Gotta get a realignment because I'm pretty sure it's gonna start eating from the inside eventually. So, yeah. Gotta change that up a little bit. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little bit of a difference. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm gonna do a little pull with the windows down. Damn. That did not feel bad at all. That was pretty quick. Jeez. Alright guys, so right now I'm heading to Freddy's house. I'm gonna show you guys the charge pipe um, and stock one the difference. It's really sad how Toyota would even do such a thing. They should have just honestly put a charge pipe like the one I have on right now at a factory because the one that, that uh, stock, it's plastic and it's like really horrible. Um, if you do like a CAD delay in a tune, I think over time, like eventually less than a month of you just pushing it, the, char the stock charge pipe will eventually break. And you don't know if you, um, you don't know if you broke anything else so people like start freaking out on the forums on supra on facebook and they're like oh i think my turbo gave out and then this guy did research and ended up being the charge pipe the stock one so he upgraded it and he was about to upgrade his turbo but i've read that the stock turbos on the supra handle up to six to seven hundred wheel horsepower so i'm not planning to do an, a turbo upgrade um until the near future um, I want to be sitting at 500, 600 comfortable on this car, see what I can beat and what I will lose to in the future. Um, obviously, if there is like opportunities of me getting sponsored and like working out with the, uh, companies that want to throw bigger parts of the car, I'll be willing to do it. Like I said, I do want to wide body this car eventually, but it's sa it sucks because like if you try to give it back to a dealer, like when you want to like trade it in for like let's say a Lamborghini or my next dream car GTR, um, they're going to count it as salvage because you have to cut into the car. So they counted out salvages, which is really dumb. So that's why I always recommend if you um, cut your car, always private sell it. And private selling can take up to months. There's this guy on Instagram, he's been selling his Camaro for like the last six months, but he got a C8 Corvette, which is pretty dope. Um, so we'll see how everything goes. Right now I'm gonna head over to Freddy's house, gonna show him the charge pipe. Um, I hear the spool a little bit. I don't know if it's just me. Um, I read on the website you don't really get, you don't really hear anything or difference or anything. But to me, it feels a little bit faster. I don't know. It could be me. But uh, we'll see right now. We'll see right now when I show it to my friend and we'll let him see um, what he thinks about it. All right. Let's see. So this right here is the stock charge pipe. Look at this, all abused. I don't know what Toyota was thinking when they put this cheap plastic material in there. So this is kind of useless. I mean, a charge pipe in general doesn't cause a check engine light. Um, it's actually good to put it in a stock Supra, so it shouldn't avoid warranty. So I'm gonna probably throw this away or keep it in my garage. And then um, here's the aftermarket one. Jeez, look at that big difference. Red goes all the way down there. 
turbo is somewhere down here. So I do want to get a colder intake and I eventually want to get a bigger intercooler so the car can breathe, especially with the summer heat coming up. Actually, wait, I need that thumbnail. Hold on. Yeah, what I was saying, um, especially with the summer heat coming up, I do want to make sure this car is running perfectly, especially with this hot heat. I don't want it to heat soak. If anything, I won't touch it um, in the summer. Just only at night. Nothing, nothing else. Oh, damn, shit. Didn't mean to slam it that hard. All right, guys, so that's the end of the vlog. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Um, hopefully this week arrives next week because I am working in a week from now or two. And we'll have time for a while. So let's hope it arrives next week.